Well, hello everybody. Welcome to yet another day in my countdown. It is Monday, October the 25th. And today is day number 15. And I'm playing a little Modern Warfare 2. And I'm playing it on the PS3. And I'm gonna play a little team deathmatch here on Carnival. And uh, what I wanted to talk about today was something really unique in the Call of Duty series. Uh, they've never done this before. I can, I can actually only think of two other games off the top of my head that did this. Um, and that would be Gears of War 2 and Unreal Tournament 3, I believe. There's probably some others, but either I don't know about them or I just can't remember right now. And what I'm talking about is going to be combat training. It is a practice mode, if you will. And uh, I think it's going to be pretty unique. And a lot of people ask, you know, when you first get a game, what's the first thing you do? Uh, like... When I got Modern Warfare 2, okay, here's a good question for all you guys. You can answer me this. When you got home with Modern Warfare 2, what did you do first? What was the very first thing you did after you put it in the disc tray? Did you play the single player? Did you jump right into multiplayer? Did you go into a private match and look at all the maps? What did you do? Now, when I got home with Modern Warfare 2, the very first thing I did was I went into a private match and looked at the maps just went through all of them really quick just looked at all of them just to kinda of get a familiar idea with what was going on and after I looked at them real quick I played my first multiplayer game which happened to be a team death match on a state which it is actually on my channel right now if you wanna go back and find it uh, it's kinda of, it doesn't have any commentary on it because I put it up literally you know minutes after I recorded it so I just put it up immediately. Um, I was lucky enough to have a fairly decent game, but that was my very first ever game of Modern Warfare 2. So when I get Black Ops, I'm gonna have some little bit different options. I still may go into a private match and go look at all the different maps and just run around on them and get a feel, get a vibe for them. And you know, it helps you just become familiar with it all. But then, I'm going to go into combat training. Uh, I am definitely going to go into combat training before I go into regular multiplayer. And for anyone that might not be familiar with what combat training is just yet, it is said to be a offline mode, but it's really not. You're going to have to have an internet connection, and you're going to have to have the proper account. If you're on Xbox, you're going to have to have a gold account, and if you're on the PS3, you got to have a PSN in order to play this you will have to have, have an internet connection. So it's not necessarily an offline mode. What they mean is it's not a regular multiplayer mode. Uh, it's basically going to mirror the multiplayer. You'll be able to get a multiplayer experience without actually going in and competing against other people. Uh, you will be able to complete, complete. You will be able to compete against bots. And if you have no idea what bots are, Bots are artificial intelligence. They are computer controlled characters and you will play against them. It will be interesting to find out what degrees of difficulty that this AI will have. I kind of imagine that they'll have three levels, I would think. You would probably get recruit, hardened, and veteran. That's just my guess. I don't know that for sure. I've not been able to find out any information uh, on what it'll be. But, uh, You'll be able to go in and you can play up to, I think, I think 12 people in a lobby. Now that's one thing. You don't have to play this by yourself. You can actually bring in your friends and play against the bots as a team. So this is going to add a whole new level of practice for clans. Uh, game battle clans, just any anybody that plays as a team that wants to organize full practices try out your, your different tactics you could do it in combat training and uh, in a sense you won't have to do any more scrimmages you know a lot of people if they had a clan they would try to schedule some kind of scrimmage against another clan so you could practice and you know in the end that still may be actually the logical thing to do because I doubt if there's gonna be any way to beat uh, going up against an actual real person um, there's something I think that's why I like multiplayer so much is 
it's it's all a mind game. You know, you know you're you are pitted against somebody else who is thinking, you know, about the same things you are. They're wanting to kill you. You're wanting to kill them. And it's probably some kind of deep primal thing that's deep down within all of us that goes back to the caveman days where you fight for your survival or something. But, uh, you know, playing games, is, is, it's just a competitive thing. And uh, you'll be able to go in and practice that competition against the computer in this game. And I think that's going to be pretty interesting. The game is going to be almost identical to uh, regular multiplayer it's just you're not going to have rank, normal rank pro progression. You will actually be able to rank up in uh, combat training, but it will not carry over into multiplayer, okay? So you could be, say, a level 30, 35 or something in combat training, uh, and then go over to multiplayer, and you'll be a level 1. You'll have to start all over and, and, and rank up from scratch right there. But you'll be able to unlock weapons. You're going to earn credit in combat training too, but here again, it's all going to stay in combat training. So say somebody has never played Call of Duty online before and they wanted to uh, get a taste of what it was like before they go in there feet first. Uh, combat training is, is going to be the way to go. You'll want to try that out. And uh, if you want to experiment with certain weapons, um, you can go into combat training. It's, you'll have to unlock them, purchase them, just like you would in regular multiplayer. But you can try them out and see if you like them before you actually you know, purchase them. I know that's one thing I was thinking about earlier. Uh, what if there is a weapon, and you're curious about it, but you hate to spend the money on it to unlock it, and you know then it turns out it sucks, and you don't really like it. Uh, combat training, you'll be able to do all that, and it won't really count. So it's it's like practice. It's like it's like going to the golf course and going to the driving range and hitting a bucket full of balls before you go out and play an actual round of golf. Uh, it, it's just a good way to warm up, I think. And that is exactly what I'm going to do when I get this game. But uh, this game is over right here. Actually get a nuke. Call it in. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to rate it. Let me know your thoughts below on combat training. Is this something you guys are going to make use of? Or are you just going to completely ignore it and go straight into multiplayer when you get home with Black Ops? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another episode of my countdown series. You guys have a fantastic day.